Hello everyone, it's me Diara. Welcome to my channel and welcome to a new pick a card reading. I will upload the reading both in German and English. Okay, so for the German community, there will be um, a German version and therefore since um, it takes quite a while you know like to upload and to deliver the readings and not just time but also energy um, I will offer two paths to choose from okay so today you can choose between either pile number one this is all about your person and how they feel versus how they act and this is going to be pile number two okay so once again pile number one pile number two Go with your gut feeling, challenge your intuition. Um, if you need a little longer, don't worry, don't put yourself under pressure, just push the pause button, okay? Easy problem, easy solution. So how does your person feel, how do they act, and what to expect in the future? That's the topic of today, and I'm going to start with pile number one. So if you guys have chosen pile number one, let's, let's go and let's see how does your person feel for you what to expect and let me just get one second my other deck here we go so these will be the decks I'm using two tarot decks and the romance angel deck um, so let's go pile number one how does your person act in the outer world, like what is it that they show you in terms of action, you know, and then we will have a look into, you know, we are going down underneath the surface to check out how they truly feel for you, because very often there's a huge difference and not just, um, you know, like when we talk about others, it's the same for us, right? Very often, we cannot, we simply can't show how we really feel. I mean, you know, like there are certain rules in society. I mean, if someone asks you in an elevator, good morning, how are you? You are supposed to answer good, how are you, right? You're not supposed to tell them your whole life story. So very often, it's not so easy um, to say how someone feels deep down inside. And this is why we're here, okay? So, let's talk about it. Pile number one, dear spirit, dear universe, what do we need to know about person number one? Your person, whoever that is. I mean, for most of you guys, this is a love reading, right? And it's announced to be a love reading. But if you want this to be about your boss, just as an example, maybe you have some difficulties with your boss and you really want to know how they feel for you deep down inside not because you love them or there is some kind of romantic situation but just you know like to know where you're at in your job life then make it yours okay this is a general reading it's public um take what resonates leave the rest behind okay so your person pile number one they um act as if they are a hard worker this is a slow moving person like you know, um, a turtle. In yoga, we would say kurma, kurma asana, right? It's a turtle. They move very, very slowly. They act very um, intellectual. They, they, you know, like they think about stuff a lot. And this is what you right now get from them. Probably you don't get anything because they are still in the thinking process. Maybe you are waiting for them to call you, to text you, to reach out to you, something along those lines, but you don't get anything in return. You're, you sit there and you wait and you wait and you wait and this is because this person is still thinking about it, okay? They are still thinking about it. This is not a no situation like meaning wow this person is not thinking about you at all i would rather say yes they think about you probably quite a lot even but they are not yet ready to make a move i think you guys have some kind of history i feel like there were very beautiful times we see the ten of coins in reverse 
Um, and this is the happy family card, actually. So I feel like you guys had have had happy times together. There must have been something between you guys. Um, memories, you know, um, good times in the past where you really clicked and where, yeah, the chemistry was just right. But then, for whatever reason, you know, like something happened and now what you get is actually no actions. This person is a little bit in and out. This person is thinking about whether they want to get back to where you've once been, like with the happy times and everything, the good memories. Of course, they have not forgotten about it. Of course, they remember, right? But they are not re ready. I wanted to say something else, but from my mouth, what came out was they are not ready. Okay, so actually I wanted to say they are not really sure whether they want to get back to where you've once been. They are not sure whether they are ready, you know, like to go back and to continue. Mm, so yeah, this is actually what is visible right now. So, I mean, actually this is also already a little bit about what's going on in this person's inside world. And well, this is card reading, right? Um, because these cards, you know, they, they decide what they want to show us and what not. Um, so let's have a look at these cards. This is actually also very interesting because I was actually asking for two cards maximum, but it turned out that four cards came out. So let's have a look behind the surface. What is this person thinking about you? Forgiving and learning. Wow, they have a very high opinion of you. This is something I can tell you, okay? So don't worry about that. They have a very good opinion about you. They know that you are um, a trustworthy person, queen of coins, you are stable, you have a certain foundation, you know, you are grounded, you are rooted, um, you are loyal, and yeah, maybe a little bit old-fashioned, right? Speaking about having values and not being willing to sacrifice them. Um, Yeah, there must have been a fight or something in the past, you know, like maybe a total lockdown, a total, you know, standstill, the death, um, and followed by suffering, like both of you have not been happy with the outcome of the situation. It probably happened pretty unexpected and pretty, you know, um, fast, and um, yeah, this person as I said, is thinking about whether or not it's a good idea to reconcile, okay? But yes, they think about you, and yes, they still have a good opinion about you. It's not that they talk bad about you behind your back. It's not that they regret having been with you or stuff like that. Um, they know who you are. They know that you have some values and standards and you are not going to lower them. So, and maybe they even know that it's not going to be you who's making the first step. I'm not saying that you haven't done something wrong, right? Because, you know, when we have a fight and especially when we have such a big breakdown, um, you know, it's always both parties who are involved. It's never just one-sided. It's never just one person. And I know this is probably something where you will disagree with me and maybe you will be like, no, but this person, you know, like they have done this or that and they have betrayed me and they have took the money or whatever. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about the situation, but I'm just saying that Usually it's always, you know, like a two-sided situation and both parties are involved. Maybe not 50-50, but both parties are involved in the situation. And so maybe there is something that you would like to excuse for as well. Um, but they know that it's, it has to be them 
you know, like who who has to make the first step. So so let's see. Will they make it? Will they make the first step? Will they contact you? Will they reach out? Let's let's step into the future. So this was pretty much all about the past and the present. So now let's let's talk about the future. What to expect from this person? What to expect from the situation? Not just this person, but the whole situation. Religious factors. Wow, true love. Watch for the warning signals and flirt. It could be that this person is married. Maybe you are married, I don't know. Um, maybe you expected them falling in love with you and leaving their wife or husband it depends you know like this is not gender specific i read for everyone male female whatever um, maybe you expected a lot and maybe this is why the fall was so extreme maybe this is why the whole situation was so intense because you expected so much you know like you thought this is your true love and this is it um, and this is the person, this is the connection, and this is your future. And you kind of put all, you know, like all eggs into one basket. Um, and then it turned out to be way more superficial. It turned out to be way more superficial and not as deep as you thought it would be. And that in itself is a tragedy, right? It is a tragedy, not just that... You know, like the feelings are not there, but also that we could have been so wrong. I mean, how could that happen? How could it happen that we, yeah, that we have been so wrong, you know, like with our intuition and gut feeling and everything. But well, this is it. I feel like this person is not available, still not available. Um, yes, they have a good opinion about you and everything, but... Spirit is still asking you to watch for the warning signals, okay? So this is the red flag card. Be cautious, okay? Take care of your feelings. And just, um, if I mean, if you know that there has been a third party, I would also, like, if this person is coming back to you in the future, I'm not saying that they are, but just like saying they do, um, I would really want to know what's up with the third party. What's up with the third party? What else do we need to know about the future of this connection? He is checking you out, okay? He is checking you out via the social media, the internet, whatever you guys are using. Um, still there are a couple of accusations in the room, in the field, right? Maybe they accuse you um, for having done this or that or vice versa or both of you are still not a 100% okay with the whole thing. So I feel like, yes, it, it would be necessary to talk about it. Talk it all out. You know, like for once you have to talk it all out. That would be very, very beneficial. I feel like, yes, you will talk. There will be um, a meeting. This is the dating card. I know that um, the lightning is not perfect today, but, well, we have to take what we get. Um, I do see you guys dating again. I see that there will be a meeting where you have the possibility to talk about stuff. Um, and I feel like, yeah, chances are that you would like to give your relation a second chance, whether this is a romantic thing or not. Um, and I feel funny enough that for some of you, it's not going to be that romantic. I think it is going to be about job and business. Why? Because we have quite a few coins cards. The very first card, you know, seven of coins and then 10 of coins and then five of coins and queen of coins. So I really feel like for a lot of you, this is a job related situation, maybe with tendency to fall in love with a coworker or a boss or whatever. Um, so I feel like you guys know that you've been a good team, you know, like you could work together very well and you may have had the same ideas and philosophy about stuff, about work and whatever. But you know, like things happened and now it is what it is and 
both of you are thinking about whether you can still build up on whatever happened. And I feel like tendency is like from what my cards are seeing that yes, there will be a meeting and there will be um, the possibility, let's just say this much. I feel like both of you are still willing to give it a second chance, okay? Okay, so is there anything else that Spirit would like you to know about this connection? I mean, it's just two piles today, so these two piles are going to be a little bit more intense. Um, so I really want you to benefit from this reading. This is not just, you know, like superficial wishy-washy. I always want to deliver good work. So let's see, is there anything else Spirit wants you to know about this connection, and especially the future of this connection? Yeah, I think there were a lot of rules back then. Maybe they had, you know, like a list full of rules. What they wanted you to do and what they did not like and everything, you know, and you have to abide to this and agree to that and everything. And maybe, you know, like having that much rules was a problem. And maybe I'm getting like... And then the funny thing, or maybe the not funny thing, was that this person did not play according to their own rules. And that was the problem, you know? Like maybe, yes, there were a couple of rules, but one person, and I feel like it was them, did not play according to those rules. And that was part of the problem. I feel like the solution and the healing would be to cooperate way more. Like, you know, like make a move, be willing to compromise. And I'm not saying that you should, you know, like sacrifice at all and, you know, like you should do everything that they want. Neither are they supposed to do everything that you want. It's like, meet me halfway. Black peas, right? Black eyed peas. Meet me halfway, right in the middle. This is where I want to wait for you. Yeah, and this is it. We have to meet in the middle. Everyone has their dreams and, you know, and ideas and and also their story, right? And we have to if we want to make a if we want to make a a relationship happen, if we want it to work out, we have to meet in the middle. Sooner or later we have to. Right? Um, so, and I feel probably both of you, if, if you've learned one thing from the whole story, then that it's necessarily to be a little bit more, um, open for compromises and for other people's opinion. You know what I'm saying? Like, remember back in the pandemic, I know this is a very, very sensible object issue, but... I don't know why, but I want to give this as an example, maybe because it is so extreme and maybe because it is so sensible. Remember back in the pandemic, the whole vaccination discussion and a lot of people have been very extreme in their opinions. I mean, really extreme. Okay. A lot of people. It was very surprising to see and it was not a good surprise, I feel. Um, and if we as a society have learned one thing from this whole story, I feel like it's necessary to admit that no one knows at all. No one knows. I mean, there was a time when we thought the vaccination would be the cure of everything, you know? Like if only everyone would be vaccinated, we could stop the whole issue. But then, you know, like a couple of months later, we had to admit that, well, that was not the case. Like, even if you are vaccinated, like, twice or three times or four times, right, you could get COVID. So, I think if we've learned one thing that was this thing, you know, like, being a little bit more open to other people's opinion and being a little bit more, you know, I don't, I don't even have a word for this, this is a language thing because I'm not a native speaker, but I hope you have understood me anyways, okay? Even without the right words, um, I feel like you know what I'm saying. So 
what you guys still have in common is passion. You know, like you both burn for something. I don't know what it is, but this is what you have in common. You both are very passionate and driven workers. You can work hard. You are passionate about what you do. And this is what you have in common. There is this certain idea. There is this certain thing that you both love and that you both go for. And this is what you have in common. And it's, it's visible for everyone, like for you, for them and for everyone else also, right? So probably the next logical step would be that you guys connect again and that you learn how to deal with rules and just, you know, like know when is enough enough. And when to be a little bit more, you know, open to others and a little bit more accessible, I want to say. Okay, so this is it. This was pile number one. I hope you could resonate a bit. I hope this reading helped you a bit um, in your current situation. Please leave a like. This is the least that you can do to support my channel. If you want me to upload more readings, you have to support me here a little bit. Thank you so much. Um, and I'll meet you in yeah the next reading. Pile number two, the flamingo pile. What do we need to know about this person? So the headline of this reading today is how do they feel and how do they act? So let's, let's check out how do they act and how do they feel? Because behind every action, there is a certain emotion, right? A certain feeling. And this is what we are trying to discover here today. So how do they act versus how do they truly feel? Pile number two. How does your person feel for you? And this is not necessarily just for the lovers, you know. This can be about... A job related situation as well. How do they act versus how do they truly feel? Let's go. Pile number two. Oh, I have forgotten to write down the timestamps. Okay, anyways. So, how do they act? Uh, superficial. They act as if they are um, a lonely rider, a lonely wolf. The hermit came out. And they may also act as if they are locked down in whatever that means. This is the trap card. Someone behind, you know, um, a wall. And the key to this wall, the key to the door is not available to this person. But the card came out in reverse. I don't know whether this means something. Maybe. Um, it could be that this person acts as if they are not open for any relationship. It could be that this person is holding um, a certain distance towards you. And not just you, I feel like generally this person is a hurt person. This, there was something in their past. And I mean, there always was something in the past, like for everyone. It's not just them. I mean, hey, uh, hands up in the air if you have not yet been hurt in the past. You won't find a person, right? You will not find one single person who has not yet been through pain and disappointment. So this goes for everyone. But um, since we are talking about your person right now, I feel like this person acts pretty superficial right now. This person acts as if, um, you know, like they are trying to build up the image that, hey, I'm good all by myself. I don't need anyone. You know, like I have my things going on here and I'm very much into, I don't know, maybe spirituality or sports or work, whatever. So uh, I have no time for a relationship anyways. This is how they act right now. Okay. Maybe they tell you that they are just interested in a fling, um, you know, like something superficial um, in affairs, but nothing else, nothing that goes deeper. So this is what I see, how they act. 
So let's reveal the secret. How do they really feel behind this image? That's the interesting part, right? Because I feel how they act, you kind of know yourself, right? So how they feel is they feel happy. They feel happy. They feel happy. Um, how do they feel about you? I have to tell you, wait a minute, before I say something wrong, I have to tell you that this image, you know, like that this person is building up about themselves, like, hey, I'm happy all by myself, I'm totally involved right now into my, my things, my projects, that image is actually true. This person is okay being alone right now, being a lonely writer, so to say. Um, so it's not that they lie to you. No, this person is very driven by their career and finances. And this person is, you know, like untying their own nuts right now, if you know what that means. If you don't know what that means is this person is right now building up a certain amount of self-love and self-esteem. And therefore, it's also quite important that they learn how to be okay without someone on their side. I mean, it's not a secret that at the end of the day, nobody wants to stay alone forever, right? We are all here for a reason. Um, we... Everyone, everybody wants to be loved, right? Let's say it the way it is. It's simple as that. At the end of the day, everybody wants to be loved, okay? And that's okay. That's part of our human nature. Um, but the thing is, in order to have a mature, healthy, committed relationship, we have to be okay with ourselves first. And that is maybe something that you've never really understood in the past or maybe something that you struggle with forever. Maybe this is something that you totally disagree with. Maybe this is something that sounds like a paradox. And yes, maybe it is. Maybe, yes, it is hard to understand. Maybe it is a paradox. I don't know. I'm not here to judge or to put it into boxes. I'm just here to, you know, like deliver you the message. And the message is... This person with the hangman here is right now at a point of their life where they are focusing on themselves first. And when they tell you that, hey, you know what, you are a pretty girl and I like you and I feel like you are a wonderful person, but I'm just not there yet. I need a little bit more time for myself. It's not a lie. It's the truth. And if it triggers you, if it makes you feel bad because you need someone else in order to feel good, then that's your story, right? That's something that you should figure out. Why is this so? Why do you have the feeling that you can't only, that you can only be happy if you have someone on your side, right? So I feel like this person respects you. Yes, they do. But they don't need you right now. That sounds pretty harsh maybe, I don't know, I don't mean it in a bad way, so please don't feel offended. Um, we have quite a few reversals here and this is what makes me think that this person is right now totally involved in their own process, their own healing and you know like mending work and however you want to call it. So the bottom line is that how they act in front of you is pretty much how they truly feel. Secret revolved, you know? Okay, so this is it, pile number two. Thank you so much for listening. Um, let's, I mean, I did it for pile number one, so I want to do it for you as well. What to expect in the future? My intention is not to keep you all waiting out there forever, like until this person has figured it out, because there are 
millions of other people out there and if you really want to be with someone I'm sure you can find someone else but let's talk about the future of this connection what to expect out of this connection in the future as of today what's the most likely outcome the potential of this connection as of today Let's see. Pile number two. Independency. Receiving. Again, job. Better shift your awareness towards job. The sex card. Erotica. So it could be that you guys will end up in bed at least once. But still, the thing is, deep down inside, this person wants to be independent. Okay, they want to be independent. They are willing for a fling, you know. They are open for something like an affair. This is what I see. But the truth is, they will always keep some kind of distance between you and they will always be very, very much into work. Um, and this is why, this is because this person is building up their self-esteem from work and success and money and career and I mean we have to start at a point right I can totally understand this behavior and actually I feel like this is what a lot of us do we compensate you know like we go out in this world and then we try to get good feelings and for some people good feelings are being delivered via friendship and you know like going out a lot having party, you know, like things like that, having a good time, feeling easy peasy, feeling lighthearted and playful. For others, like receiving good feelings um, is being delivered via sports, activities, you know, hobbies, um, adventure, traveling. And for a lot of people, believe me, a lot of people out there, Maybe because it's one of the most easiest ways to get positive vibration is work. Because work, you know, like it involves, I mean, I know that some of you, you probably hate your job and you cannot, so you can totally not understand what I'm talking about, but that's just you, okay? Um, you may hate your job, but a lot of people, they are workaholics and they get a lot of good feelings from working and making a good job. You know, like helping others, supporting others, making money, getting incentives, being promoted, getting the good feedback, you know, being popular, being famous. Um, you know, like some people, they love to be someone that other people need. I mean, why are you working over hours? Because you feel like your company can't make it without you. This is why you do it. I mean, some of you will probably say, no, I have to do over hours because my job is asking that from me. And if I would say no, they would, you know, like um, kick me out. Um, that is a totally different situation. And I'm obviously not talking about these stories. I'm talking about people who are workaholics voluntarily because it gives them the feeling to be important, to be um, a precious part of society and to be successful, okay? And your person is definitely one of these people. Your person is a workaholic and they need job to feel good and to feel successful and of value you know yeah so this is what i see happening in the future so yes i see the possibility for a fling or an affair um i don't see big love this is what i don't see okay thank you so much for listening guys peace out and namaste bye